and all the people say What's going on guys? It's November 8th. It's about uh, 0800 right now. About to head over to the gym and hit some. Uh, today's a, uh, on my lean bulk split right now, we're gonna be running a hypertrophy uh, and a strength day. So today's my strength day. We're gonna do some heavy compound deadlifts and um, some heavy triceps and shit. I was supposed to do back yesterday, but I ended up having to work all day yesterday and I didn't wake up early enough to go to the gym. The gym closes at 10 on base. So I wasn't able to go yesterday, so I'm gonna make up for today. If I have time, I'm gonna do legs as well today. But I'm at least gonna show you guys some deadlifts. I'm gonna try and pull 405 today. And do a couple other uh, back movements and stuff. And then we're gonna to go to uh, the base of Mount Fuji and conduct airdrops and take you guys into a day in the life of what I do on a daily basis. So yeah. Uh, as you guys see, I was just getting some supplements ready for the gym. Basically what I use, everything for the majority, aside from the protein right now, I use from Bear Performance Nutrition. I use creatine monohydrate. Uh, some endo pump. Uh, endo pump is a muscle pump enhancer. It's kind of just glycerol powder, so it pulls blood to the muscle, allows you to get a better pump. If you guys know anything about bodybuilding or lifting and stuff, you'll understand that uh, the more blood in your muscle, the better it is. You know, the pumps everything. Then we got Intraflight, which is BCAA workout uh, formula, branching amino acids for energy, uh, endurance, recovery. We got Flight, which is their version of a pre-workout. It's got beta alanine, caffeine, and all that stuff. And I take citrulline malate as well for my pre-workout. So pre-workout is Flight, citrulline malate, and endo pump. And as I work out, it is creatine monohydrate and intraflight. I just, you can take creatine whenever you want. I just take it uh, with my workouts just so I don't forget to take it during the day. And then, uh, yeah, I just got the lemonade flavor in, so I'll let you know just how that is, because I've been using watermelon for the whole time. But yeah, and for the protein, it's right up on the fridge right there. I use a uh, gold standard whey protein. So yeah, and then I take fish oil every day and a multivitamin. So let's go to the gym. Another thing I want to clarify with you guys, as you can see, I'm in a house. No, not in the Air Force. Unless you're married, you're not getting a house in the Air Force. Uh, if you guys look back at my previous videos or you've been a subscriber for a while, you understand that I'm in my dorm or the barracks, as you call it. So yeah. You don't get your own house, so don't think single airmen get their own house, so, yeah. Alright, pre-workout starting to hit me. Let's go. All right, so today was a heavy back and tricep day. I actually ended up being pressed for time, so I was actually skipped triceps today, but I was working out some deadlifts, did, did some uh, did some deadlifts for a little bit. I love deadlifts. If you guys aren't incorporating deadlifts in your routine right now, I highly suggest doing them because they're a great compound lift that work other muscles and stuff, and they've actually been shown to increase other lifts just by doing this one lift. So I started out with 135, pulled that, uh, went over to 225. But really, like, this is the only time I'm pretty much in this room. There's, like, this deadlifts because I have the deadlift platforms and I have a back machine here in the crossfit room. Other than that, I don't step foot in it. I just like the platforms and the bumper plates because you can pull heavy weight and just drop it and I don't really care. Uh, so I went over to 315. I know my form isn't perfect. I am still working on my form. I do like working out when I first start working out. Um in the mornings and stuff with my sweatshirt on just to stay warmed up and then I'll take it off later in the video. Pulled through 15, I didn't really have a set rep scheme in mind but then I went over to uh, 405 right now. This is actually my PR, I pulled this last week and I pulled it again today, I might try and go up to 410 next week. I know my form isn't great um, but I was able to lock it out the top so we'll work on it. Uh, went over to some seated rows right now, I love this machine because you can always put a whole bunch of cable attachments on it and change your grip. Make sure you guys lean all the way forward and get a full stretch in that. I believe I did that for five sets of five. 
Now we're working over to the T-bar row, uh, the chest supported T-bar row. I like the chest supported T-bar row, row because the other T-bar row is not chest supported. Hurts my back. Um, I did 135 here. 5x5 five five is the same. And then I believe the last exercise in the CrossFit room, like I said, it's like the only machine I use in here and deadlifts, um, was the isolateral row. Two handles. I had 275 altogether. All right. So just finished working out. Uh, some heavy back. I was supposed to do triceps too, but I was kind of running late on time. So we just hit some heavy back things, did some deadlifts, hit a PR four or five, hit it last week, hit it again this week. Wasn't the greatest form, but I got it up. I'm gonna work on my form and do some heavy sets. Usually I'm working about uh, five sets of five, just to build some strength in. And then I have a day each week where I do a perfect shape volume. Usually about five sets, 20, 15, 20, 15, 12, 10, eight. But yeah, I gotta go to work in about an hour. We're gonna go to Mount Fuji and do air drops. It's starting to rain out, so we'll see. It's totally different weather out there all the time. Like we get out there, there's this one tunnel we go through, and when you go through the tunnel, it literally like, I'm out of breath. Too much cardio for the year. Um, when you get through that one tunnel, it can be totally different weather. Like, it's clear on one side, and when you go through this tunnel, it's like, it could be foggy as like a Scooby-Doo movie. So, an hour to go to work, shower, shave, get in uniform. We're about to go make some fucking protein pancakes right now with peanut butter. I'm going to show you guys, uh, they're called Kodiak cakes. Highly recommend getting them. I forgot my shaker bottle at work. Normally, I would take uh, two scoops of whey protein and uh, glutamine right after I work out. But we're going to go ahead, hurry up, and get in this uh, this window and have some pancakes. And I'll show you guys the recipe. Take you guys to Mount Fuji. So let's go. So my go-to breakfast on this lean bulk right now, Kodiak Power Protein Pancakes. Each serving is about 190 calories and 14 grams of protein. You usually make two servings. So 106 grams, 28 grams of protein. They're great. You put syrup, peanut butter, chocolate chips in them. Almost destroyed that pancake just in the nick of time. It's actually that perfect color right now. I just realized too, I'm out of syrup. Like, this is a. Uh, this is all I got left, so we're gonna have to make do. Usually I just drown it, and I don't track syrup for some reason, but. I told you guys too, in the, the last couple of videos when I've been making breakfast or food and stuff, I track all my calories on this lean bulk with an app called MyFitnessPal. It's free on the App Store, it's by Under Armour. It's basically like a giant nutritional database and calorie counter, so if you guys are trying to lose weight, gain weight, maintain weight, you pretty much just track your calories. The thing is, you guys may think it's crazy at first tracking everything you eat, but the problem is when people diet or they try to gain weight, you rip, you, like, you can estimate shit, but you truly never know how much you're eating. You could be eating too much or too little and not know it, and then you, buy, you stall, you plateau, and people give up. Tracking your calories is a great way just because you see your progress and stuff, and you can always just freaking, you know, uh, make adjustments from there because you know you're hitting the right calories. You know, you're not gaining enough weight, add more calories. You're not uh, losing enough weight, you know, being more in the deficit. So basically, like, you look, that you there's right here there's exercise food water all that shit i never track anything except food it's got meals breakfast lunch dinner snacks so i would go to breakfast um it, it knows your recent food so we got power cakes right here two servings of the kodiak power cakes so it's 380 calories then uh two servings of the nestle chocolate chips that are in there so you look that up you can do that you can look it up like manually or you just scan the barcode of the item it will come up and automatically edit to you uh, so semi-sweet morsel, morsels, uh, pretty much chocolate chips. Two servings, boom. So we're currently at uh, 520 calories to the day. I'm currently eating 3,900, so we have 3,381 calories left remaining for the day. But when you guys get this app, you're gonna enter your weight, your height, your activity, all in your age and all that crap, and you're gonna, you're gonna click goals. You're gonna click maintain weight, lose weight, or gain weight, and it's gonna give you an estimate of calories you have to eat to reach that goal. And that's why tracking calories is key, because you can always just track your progress and make adjustments from there. So I highly recommend if you guys are trying to maintain, lose, gain weight, my fitness pal, track your calories. At first, it may be annoying to you, but it's become second nature, and it's just a great way to, you know, track your results. My fitness pal. It is 11:15. 15 minutes to get to work. Take you guys out to Mount Fuji and show you what I do. Dude, I don't know how that fucking happened overnight. That snow. Where the fuck is it? There it is. 
That snow was not on there last night, though. It's like half the mountain covered. So we're currently at the pretty much base of Mount Fuji right now. This is where we do, we conduct our airdrops and stuff. So what we do is we train to drop um, heavy equipment, which is for us to simulate us dropping vehicles. And we drop like bundles of other stuff just to simulate supplies and stuff. So our job is the planes will come in, they will airdrop, hopefully try and hit the target on the bottom. Usually they don't with all the wind and stuff and the computers aren't as accurate that they drop. But usually they fly in with C-130s airdrop it and then we pretty much have to go down find the equipment it will get picked up put on a trailer and then we recover the parachutes field pack those bring them back to um, the base repack them re-rig everything and we do it again Fast forward, currently 1900. We're gonna call it a night. Just picked up Charlie's right here. You got freaking Charlie's chicken teriyaki, which I log into my fitness pal, and then Charlie's Philly steaks. You might have them around in the States. I know they have them on pretty much majority of military bases. Strawberry lemonade, strawberry lemonade, of course, I logged it into my fitness pal. And now we're just watching YouTube, catching up, eating food. So yeah, that's pretty much a day in the life. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that like button, comment. Make sure you guys, if you're stopping in for the first time, make sure you guys subscribe, follow me on Instagram, turn on my notifications, and I'll see you next week.